Hey guys, Abby here today. Michelle from Stylemaker Fabrics has just launched her spring collection and she sent me some yardage to use. So, what I first chose to make is the bowline sweater by Paper Cut Patterns, just been released. I picked a double knit jacquard fabric to make the top. Uh, the top uh, is perfect for this fabric. I'm very glad I chose it. I think this fabric would be really great choice for a beginner because when I received it, I um, just threw it in the wash on cold, I dried it, and it came out looking exactly the same as when it arrived. It um, didn't, I didn't even have to press it before cutting the fabric. It was not shifty at all. Um, I just used pattern weights. It's a very stable fabric so it doesn't slide. You know, a lot of knits you get are, are stretchy and slinky and can be very hard for a beginner. This fabric was cake. Barely had to use even any pins when sewing it. I um, sewed most of it on my serger, but there were a few parts of the pattern that you could sew, um, you had to sew with your regular machine. But I actually think this fabric would be just fine sewn completely on your regular sewing machine. If you don't have a serger, I don't think there would be any difference. It'll come out looking just as nice on your sewing machine. Uh, it pressed really well. Um, I got a nice clean press on my sleeves and I've been wearing it today and I have no wrinkles so I'm very very happy that I don't have any wrinkles. A lot of fabrics you know you wear it to work and then you look down and you're all wrinkled. So pretty perfect fabric. I am very happy with it. So the second fabric I received is a chambray eyelet. I am a huge fan of chambray and a huge fan of eyelet, so the two put together is just a match made in heaven. And I've actually never seen this fabric to purchase by the yard, so I'm pretty amazed that I was able to get my hands on some of it. Obviously, I have not decided what to sew with it. I originally was going to make a button up top because when it came and I pulled it out, um, it was really, really stiff, and so I could only picture it as a crisp button-up, maybe sleeveless tank top. Um, so then I threw it in the wash on cold, dried it, and it came, it came out a lot softer. It is no longer really crisp. It still has a lot of nice weight to it, because I think because of all the embroidery, it really adds some weight and some structure. It's not super light, but it's not a heavy denim either. So I'm thinking a couple different things. I might make it a cropped tank top. I was thinking about the free Tate top pattern. Um, that's a PDF that you can get. It's a racer back and it is cropped a little longer in the back. So I was thinking that could be really cute paired with like a high-waisted denim skirt. And if I did that, then I might possibly have a little bit left over for a pair of shorts, which would be really awesome. Obviously, I would line it in something a lot heavier and more stable for the shorts, or I might just make it a sundress. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. So that is the chambray eyelet. And then next, I have some more swatches to show you from the rest of her collection. All right, so I picked out my absolute favorites to share with you from the new spring collection. So first up, we have Rayon Shelly, which is one of my favorite fabrics to sew with. It is drapey and soft. It does like to wrinkle on you, but Rayon Shelly, you can really just make anything you want with it. You can make a tank, a blouse, a nice flowy dress, a skirt. So I've got three here for you. The first one is royal blue and cream, a nice geometric kind of design. The next one is a pretty turquoise mixed with gray and cream and navy. And the last one is my favorite. I love anything floral. It is a really pretty gray and cream fabric. All of them feel really the same. They're really soft and drapey and just perfect. Next up is similar to Rayon. Um, it is crepe here. Um, the first one is very similar. I don't know if you saw my most recent blog, blog, blog post. Um, I made a Roscoe blouse out of some birds. Um, I really like this bird fabric and I'm really tempted to order some for myself. I can really picture it as a really cute drapey tank top. I wouldn't make another blouse just because I already have a bird blouse. Um, but the next one here is a really pretty floral. 
Crepes are a lot more sheer than rayons and are a lot trickier to sew. Um, they can obviously shift around if you can see how it's moving here on me. So cutting is not as easy as a rayon. Um, and then sewing it, you will definitely want to use some French seams and um, really need to take your time with this type of fabric. Next up is some really pretty eyelet. Um, this one is in a nice geometric design, would look really great as a skirt or even a dress, a line dress. It's pretty crisp, not sure how it would wash up, um, but it's really nice, got a really nice feel to it. And then here we have a stretch lace, love stretch, stretch lace. I know it's spring, but I can picture this as an overlay. Um, to a sweatshirt if you wanted to make a spring type sweatshirt. I also have made a briar top, um, the Megan Nielsen briar top, out of a coral stretch lace that looks exactly like this. And I um, wear it with a, a turquoise tank top underneath and it's, it's really, front, really fun. So this might be good just to make a simple top with and then put on a different colored tank top underneath to change it up. All right, and then we have some fabrics that are a little more crisp. Um, they're all a different type of um, fabric, but I paired them together because they're kind of crisp. Um, the first one, I'm not really sure what I would make with it, but I just thought it was super cute. Um, it could make a cute little tank or something with a button up. Um, would be cute in your kitchen somehow, maybe incorporate it into a tea towel. Just think it's a really cute design. I love gingham. When I saw this, I was like, oh, might need to get some to make myself a button-up top. But it's a really pretty raspberry color. It'd be awesome for the spring. You could make, of course, a button-up. You could make an, a dress, an alder um, dress would be awesome out of this. And here is another similar one with a little bit of blue mixed in. It's a little more sheer than the first one. Um, but it would still make a really great button-up shirt definitely lighter for the spring. The next two are a floral design I absolutely love. I've never really seen um, a fabric like this one. I think it would make a really cute sundress, tank top, button up, lots of things you could do with this one. And the last one is my favorite from this set. It is a poplin rayon I believe it said on her paper. It feels similar to a lawn to me. Um, it's just a really crisp design. I love the colors together. Same thing, you can make button-ups, dresses, really anything. And last up are the knit fabrics. So the first one here is a French terry. It's a pretty lightweight French terry. It's got a lot of drape to it. So I don't think it'd be good for a sweatshirt, but any type of long sleeve tee. Um, it's got a lot of stretch to it in both directions. Feels super soft, really nice. Um, I think it would make a really nice t-shirt out of that. The next one is a little thicker, perfect for a sweatshirt. It's kind of this tomato red kind of color. Also super soft, it's got the sweatshirt on the back. Um, would make a really nice sweatshirt you could do a, um, sleeves above the elbow to make it more appropriate for the spring and the next three knits are pretty drapey I think all would be really good out of t-shirts a um, little more see-through some of them this first one is so a tank top a t-shirt would be good for that one you can see my hands through it a little bit but it's pretty stretchy both directions really lightweight this one's a little heavier, not as much stretch, um, and it's got a French terry back. So I think this one would make a great tee. Be careful, um, obviously it doesn't have as much stretch, so you need to make sure it has enough stretch for the pattern that you choose, but it is definitely less see-through, so that one's a nice one. And the last one here, really silky knit, I love this. This would make a super cute, circle skirt um it's a great color for the spring and the summer it's a really nice hot raspberry pink color it's so soft so drapey really you could do anything you want with this t-shirt tank top skirt you name it so that's it for the 
my favorites from her spring collection. So that's it for my favorites from Style Maker Fabrics spring collection. And I got a little special treat for you guys. One of you will get to win a $20 gift card to her shop so you can pick out your favorite fabric from the spring collection. So really easy giveaway for you guys. All you need to do is give our video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, and then comment below with your favorite fabric from the collection. You have until the end of the month to um, enter the giveaway. We will reply to your comment in the video to let you know that you have won. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you sew from the new spring collection. Please tag us at Inside the Hem so we can follow along. See you guys next time. Bye.